All right, call it an obsession. I'm addicted to macro photography. Look at these photos. They're stunning and the amount of detail is completely unbelievable. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to replicate some of these shots. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. So to get started, you're gonna need a DSLR, flash, tripod, and most importantly, some macro tubes. If you don't have any, they're cheap, and you can pick up a decent set on Amazon for around 21 bucks. Also, all the items you see in today's video will be linked in the description down below for easier access. So, what are macro tubes? Macro tubes are simply a hollow cylinder that fits between your camera and your lens, causing the lens to be further from the sensor. This extra distance allows your lens to focus more precisely, providing a magnification capability. So even more straightforward, it takes a standard lens and makes it more like a microscope. So what are we waiting for? Let's head over to our test subject for the video and get shooting. In this setup, I'm using a micro rail slider. It's not necessary, but if you take a lot of macro photography like me, it comes in handy because when you shoot macro, you have to do what's called photo stacking. Because the vision plane becomes so thin when you're using macro tubes, you have to stack a series of photos and merge them together to create one clear image. All right, now that you have all your photos taken, head to Lightroom and import all your footage. Once you're there, apply whatever edit you want to all of the photos so they're all the same. And as you scroll through, you can see all the different focus points. Once you're done here, you wanna hit Command A and then right click on any of the photos and say A, edit in layers in Photoshop. Now, I have the beta version, doesn't matter. But just go ahead and open it up. This may take a few minutes because these photos will be pretty large. So we'll head back uh, when Photoshop's open. All right, now that you have all your photos into Photoshop, what you're gonna wanna do is hit at the top layer and then go to the bottom and hit Shift and click the bottom to select all layers. Then head to the Edit at the top of the menu, hit Auto Align Layers, and then hit Auto, hit OK. Now, again, this will take a little bit more time, so just let Photoshop do its thing, and we'll check back in in just a second. All right, now that all your layers are auto-aligned, go back up to the top and hit Edit again, and hit Auto Blend Layers this time. You're gonna wanna click the Stack Images option, and then hit OK. Once again, this does take some time, so just let Photoshop do its thing, and once it's done, your mind is gonna be absolutely blown. All right, so Photoshop finally finished up, and as you can see, here is the final result. It's stunning. As you can see, you can see every single drop, every individual hair, and little teeny pieces of pollen on the fur of this bumblebee. Absolutely incredible. And that's it. It really is that simple to take macro photography. It's fun and a very immersive experience. So take what you learned in today's video and get shooting your own shots. And make sure to tag me, Andrew Scrolls Vlogs, and all your posts so I can make sure to check them out and even highlight them in a future video. And with that, don't forget to always keep smiling.